It's a really exciting time to be a neuroethicist because you know, the whole world is getting interested in these topics. I'm Tas Cochran. I'm the Director of Neuroethics at the Center for Bioethics at Harvard Medical School. I'm also an Assistant Professor of Neurology uh, and I work at Brigham and Women's Hospital where I specialize in adult neuromuscular medicine. Neuroethics is uh, a term that's relatively new in the world and it hasn't been fully defined yet. For me, it basically describes the intersection of neurology and neuroscience and ethics. So the care of patients who have neurological diseases and can't make decisions for themselves, uh, patients who've had bad brain injuries and may or may not want to continue living in that state, new neuroimaging techniques that can detect consciousness, brain-computer interfaces that may allow some patients who are paralyzed to control a computer or control a prosthesis, things like artificial intelligence. When computers really become intelligent, will we owe them things like we owe other intelligent beings? Do we have a moral responsibility towards computers that can think? We're going to need to make decisions about uh, how to care for each other when we develop these conditions. And we've got these great new technologies that interface with our brains and our minds and raise questions about who we are and who we want to be. And I think that's, that's a topic that everybody can get interested in.